Good morning Year 5 and welcome to Maths this lovely morning and I thought I'd just go through the questions with you very briefly um, discussing perhaps how I would attempt them. So hopefully you've all watched the video so you've got a good understanding of what equivalent fractions mean. So it means fractions of the same value of the same size equivalent amount. So the first question here, obviously you're being asked to shade in the, the different amounts to show the equivalence and they've already divided them into equal sections for you so you know the fractions will be fair. Now the second lot of questions, very similar. So you're going to shade in one sixth and then you're looking at the visual size to see what would be equivalent to that amount. Here, you're having to draw the rectangles. So instead of having the rectangles drawn for you, as you did on the previous two, you're drawing them. So you're going to need to make sure that they are the same size as each other so that you can compare them properly. Otherwise, it wouldn't be equal, it wouldn't be fair. So your two rectangles need to be the same size. And obviously, you need to use a ruler and perhaps some squared paper, if you've got it, would help you to get it the right size. Here, you are sorting the fractions into the two groups. So remember, if it's equivalent to a quarter, if you divide the denominator by four, you would get the numerator for it to be equivalent to a quarter and for it to be equivalent to a third, the denominator has to be three times the size of the numerator. Again, you're using that pattern, you're using your knowledge of the multiplication tables here. So for A, you'd say, what have I multiplied seven by? to get the denominator 14, and then you would need to multiply one by the same amount. So this is where your tables and understanding your times tables really helps here. Exactly the same for this question, except you've got to find three different examples. Right here. Ron is finding equivalent fractions to a quarter. A quarter is equivalent to five-eighths and nine-twelfths. Do you agree with Ron? And you're being asked to draw a diagram here to support your answer. So I think a quarter, if he's multiplied a quarter, he would have to multiply four by the same number as he's multiplying one to get five eighths. So it's multiplied four by two to get the denominator eight. Has he multiplied one by two? There's some clues there to help you when you're solving that one. Right here, I would look at the numbers I do know, where I've got a numerator and a denominator. So I know two eighteenths, so if I go back there to the first box, I don't know the numerator, but I know the denominator is 9. So I know that I have divided 18 by 2 to get 9. So then I would need to divide the numerator, the 2 by 2, to get A. And once I've got that, that should help me then with my knowledge of tables to work out the other missing amounts. Now, I thought this one was quite tricky right? because you know that A plus B equals 13. But I wouldn't actually start there. I'd look at my denominator here and I know 14 and I'm thinking of multiples. Oh, oh factors of 14 here and I know that 14 has factors 14 and 1 and it has the factors 2 and 7 
And if I know the factors, I should be able to work out what A is. Once I can work out what A is from using the factors of 14, I should then be able to work out B and C. Remembering that whatever I times my denominator by, I also need to multiply the numerator by the same amount to keep the fraction equivalent, or divide the denominator by the same amount as the numerator. So I'm looking for factors of 14 to help me there with that one. At this one, I can use my knowledge of the multiplication tables here. So I know that I've times the numerator 1 by 3 to get the numerator in the second fraction. So I would need to times 5 by 3. But remember, it's going to be 1 plus something to make whatever 5 times 3 is. So I hope I've given you some clues and some help there with solving these and I look forward to seeing your answers when you send them in. Have fun learning! <laughs>